what is going on? So for today's video, I want to show you the workout I did over the weekend. It's a push workout, very simple. Just something where I did bench press, some dips, and some shoulder work. So I'll do a little voiceover for you to explain everything that I'm doing, give you guys some tips on how to improve your own work. So let's get right into it. The way I like to set up on my bench is I try to get the bar like right above the bottom part of my sternum. And then I get my feet nice and flat and then I don't move my toes as I get into the position I want. And that way I just feel like I get a good position to start and I just plant my glutes and everything on the bench and squeeze those as hard as I can. And then I do get a little bit of an arch in my back just for shoulder position really. So as I'm doing this I'm also squeezing my shoulders down and back and I also try to rotate my elbows so that they're pointing down instead of out. And that really helps with my shoulders. Ever since I started doing bench this way I haven't had any problems. So I just did a few sets. I started off with just 65 pounds for 12 reps to warm up. And then I went up to 85 for 8 and then I did four sets of six reps at 95 pounds. One day I'd like to be able to do my body weight. So the next exercise I did was one of my new favorite delt exercises. So I've heard it called an Egyptian raise or you can just call it like a lateral cable raise. Um, but I step over the cable so that I can get a little bit more range of motion and I'm not like worried about that cable rubbing against my legs or my hand getting like stuck. Um, that you can usually get that problem when you do a normal lateral cable raise. But the things that I try to think about when I do this is I try to lead with my elbow or I turn my pinky up so I try to think about like rotating my arm that way so that I can get mostly the lateral delt. So that's one thing that I really need to work on as far as like balancing out my physique is getting my shoulders a little bit bigger. So I try to do a little bit extra shoulder work um, compared to the other body parts. But this is a great exercise compared to a lateral dumbbell raise because you get tension on the exercise the whole way. Um, Whereas like with a lateral dumbbell raise you really only get tension like near the top half of the range of motion because of just the way gravity you know works against the dumbbell but the cable allows you to get all the way all the tension all the way through. So it's a little tricky to get this set up because I'm typically done dips on an assisted machine because I cannot do that without some assistance um, but I had to use a big you know super band to help assist me and I just wrapped it around the bar a couple times and then let it hang down it's kind of tricky I just had to make sure that everything like felt okay because like the way you wrap the band around the bars really changes the resistance so it's really just about creating enough assistance that it's still hard enough so I was able to do about 10 reps on that so for those two exercises, I did four sets of ten, and then that was it. It was a pretty quick workout. It's the end of the month, which means I need to start working on all of my online clients' workouts for the next month. So this is the program that I use. It's called Fitness Builder, and I make custom workouts for every one of my clients. So what I do is I go into my program, and then I write a little warm-up. <laughs> and I take them through a workout that they need to follow and that workout gets sent to their email and they can either use the app that comes with it um, and then or they can use like a PDF download of the workout and then once they finish the workout they get um, to provide feedback and then I get that feedback on an email so it's a nice way to communicate and it, I think it works pretty well so this is what the full workout would look like. So I wrote a warm up where he starts foam rolling. And then starts off with a superset. And then you can see I write like little notes and things in there for like goals 
as far as time and reps. And I can write certain things in there if I want them to do it a little differently than the picture. And then if you use the app, you can click on the videos. So you can look at it like this. And it'll show you how to do it with a video. Place your hands on a ball with your arms straight and legs straight out behind you, resting in the toes. Bring one knee in toward the ball, keeping the rest of your body in the push-up position. Straighten this leg and repeat on the other side. Keep your back flat and your hips in line with your shoulders throughout. So I've been working on that today. And I have a couple workouts I need to finish up. So the other thing I've been working on is I've been reading a bunch of books about dieting and just different di dieting techniques. So I just finished this one, A Guide to Flexible Dieting. And now I'm working on the Ultimate Diet 2.0. I really should have read that one first before I started on that. A Guide to Flexible Dieting, but whatever, live and learn. And so I'll probably finish up this one and then kind of re-skim this so I can add both the concepts together. And then I probably will finish off this one. And there's a couple like little like add-on books that he's updated. And then I'll probably start on that one. That one is a big book but I think it's gonna be super helpful. I've heard good things about all these books, especially the women's book. So I hope you liked this video. If this is the type of video that you wanna see, please give it a thumbs up and comment. I try to upload videos every Wednesday, and I'm trying to decide what type of videos to put up on this channel still. So if you wanna see something, please let me know. I think next week I'm probably gonna to try to do a workout video as long as I can get my ducks in a row. I gotta get my friend to help me out, so make sure that she can do it. But yeah, it's gonna be a live, real-time workout that you guys can follow along with. It's really fun. I've done it with my clients before, and it's a great workout. It's gonna be a leg and ab workout. So if that's something that you wanna see, please let me know. I would love some feedback. Anyway, hope you guys have a great week. See you next time.